Welcome to the ninth video of the Foundry's Camera Tracker for After Effects 101 training series. In this video we'll be looking at pulling match moves from nodal pans. Nodal pans are essentially when the position of the camera stays static and the orientation simply pans around. Strictly speaking, for best results, it also implies that the pan itself occurs around the focal centre or nodal point of the camera and lens combined. If we take a look at the After Effects representation, essentially we're talking about this point here. You can pick up specific tripod mounts to allow you to adjust your camera back in position so that your pans occur around this point. However, in a lot of cases it's not strictly necessary and the process we use here will also normally work without that level of precision. Indeed, this shot we're using here is an example of when this isn't the case. Okay, so let's take a look at the shot itself. If I just scrub along. You see we have this piece of Artbeats footage, which is a pan, and I have tracked this on defaults and solved and created a scene. Let's take a look at the camera path that's been created. So, turn off this layer and select our camera. We can see that the camera position is animating, which isn't what we want, and that the focal length, if we bring up this again, the focal length is actually pretty short. If we look back at the shot itself, it's pretty evident from the compressed perspective and the fact that it's a wildlife shot that the uh, focal length should be pretty long, much longer than what's been calculated. The reason for this is that because the camera can move, the camera tracker can find another solve which fits the movement presented in the frames tracked. Let's convince it that it is a nodal pan. To do this, we're going to go in and set our tracking validation in our tracking tab to rotating camera. This means that as it tracks through, the presumptions that it makes about the search area for the feature points will be based on the camera being locked to a pan and not allowed to translate. Let's also change the solve camera motion to rotation only. This prevents the solve itself from structuring around a camera translation. Now I'm going to track and solve again and I'll be back in a second. As you can see, the camera is no longer moving and the focal length is a lot longer. Great stuff.